Hey, welcome to Gadgets First video. Um, today I'm going to make a makeshift camera rig, frugally of course, uh, for a Miata that does not have a roll bar. So here is Gadget. Um, already got the the good stuff for making this rig. Um, and honestly, all I'm going to do is take some measurements for right now. Um, I already got all my fittings. I found a fancy little uh, tutorial online for making fit, uh, a camera rig. But we're going to have to make some adjustments just because it's probably not going to work for my intents and purposes. Uh, the way that it was designed online already. So, uh, obviously, here's Gadget without a roll bar. So, I'm going to try and take some measurements. And I'll show you exactly where I'm going to be measuring. The whole reason I want to do a backseat style uh, camera mount is because there are numerous uh, steering issues that I want to be able to show you uh, before I, I make this corrections in the future, but I want you to be able to see what the problems are. So, I'm just going to measure through here. So we've got about 44 inches. So, it's a good start, and then I need to go ahead and plan out the actual mount itself. So, I've got a 10 foot of half inch PVC. These are all my goods I got from Home Depot. So I got a 2.5 inch uh, quarter by 20, which is standard for all camera mounts. I got four elbows, half inch elbows, and five T's. So, um, couple quarter inch hex nuts and a half inch PVC plug. So let's get started. I should also mention that you will need a hacksaw and a drill with some drill bits. Oh, and a measuring tape. That was kind of a given. All right, so now that we have our rig, uh, let's see how well it fits. Okay, so here is the setup, um, and that is exactly where I want it. It's right up against the, uh, the top frame, and let's see, if I get my phone in there, let's see. Yep, that is exactly where I want it. So this is uh, my wide angle um, for my camera, and obviously I am getting a GoPro eventually, but the beauty of it is they make camera mounts for the GoPro and phone mounts for my uh, Pixel that use quarter 20. So that is why I went with this design. So now I am going to try and measure out um, the length that I need for, to go to my frame rails. Um, so let's see. So it's looking like, um, if I go all the way to the end, which gives me a lot more room to play with in case, uh, I need to trim it down, I am right at about, uh, 19 inches, um, which will translate to about 20 inches. So I have, uh, again, room to play. Um, the other thing about this, this particular rig I'm really excited about is that I can come up with some kind of shade or cover for it uh, to keep, one, my phone, which is what I'll be using first until I get my GoPro um, out of the sun, out of, you know, direct sunlight, and so I won't have any issues with it dying on me and not wanting to record anymore. So let's uh, let's get to cutting again. 
All right, so back to Gadget with our camera rig. So I may have had a change of plans. I did trim this down a little bit, um, so I don't have to bother with getting a cap or, you know, whatever. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have this rig sit in the handle for uh, the soft top. So, which means I need to trim this down a little bit more. What I ended up doing was wedging my PVC in the frame of the soft top. I nestled the back elbow of my camera rig in the handle of the soft top and again I have uh, this wedge through the frame. So what I think I could also do because I'm worried about uh, stability is take a bungee cord and see if I can't keep this stable, um, keep it tied down, maybe attach it to the front of the soft top. Cool. So here is my rig in action. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty pleased. Thanks for watching.